Hi, welcome to In and Around Computer. In this video, we are going to see the types of CPU or the types of processors. The types of CPU ranges from single core to deca core. We can see them one by one. First is the single core CPU. The original type of the CPU is the single core CPU and it's wi available widely and used in most standard personal computers and business computers. And these CPUs can like, only execute one command at a time making them poor options for multitasking. And if you are trying to do more than one Thing at a time it's uh, possible but uh, you will notice a degradation in the performance so this is uh, what uh, the disadvantage of this single core CPU and if one operation starts the next process will have to wait in a virtual queue of sorts until the first one finishes so this is about the single core CPU and next is the dual core uh, CPU. This uh, consists of two cores that acts like one CPU. This means that CPU can multitask more effectively and allows things, uh, two things to happen at once. So to do most uh, effectively use a, a dual core CPU, both the programs and OS need to have a unique code in them called a simultaneous multi-threading technology and this is something found standard in most operating systems and programs today so this uh, dual core cpu is mostly used today and uh, Next is the quad core CPU. This has uh, four cores in on a single uh, CPU processor. The uh, CPU evenly divides the workload between the cores, making it best option for multitasking. It doesn't signify single uh, operations, making it faster, lighter, and more efficient than other cores. Just like the uh, dual core CPU, this quad core CPUs use the that is uh, SMT code that is. Uh, that was uh, said in this uh, dual core CPU to speed up the process and make them uh, seem uh, instantaneous in many cases. So this game, this quad core CPUs are used by gamers, programmers, and anyone who heavily uses the computer while streaming, playing music, editing, or uh, using bulky programs would benefit from this CPU size. So next is the hexa-core processor and even bigger and faster than a quad-core CPU is the hexa-core processor. This comes with six cores and can execute tasks faster than other, other models. And this hexa-core processors are most commonly used in smartphones and tablets. And these uh, uh, most smartphones including this Android and Apple will use a hexa-core processor. And these processes make it possible to play games, listen to music, text, and get notifications all at the same time. So in hexa-core processor, we can do all these. Next is the octa-core processor. And this has eight independent cores to go even faster. And these processes are a bit more expensive and only necessary for people who need to work quickly for their jobs and gamers uh, can uh, use an octocore processor but only professional gamers who play for money will really take advantage out of this and these are the core uh, sets in this build and uh, that are typically asked to do the repetitive minimum powered activities that we can do on a computer and then there are uh, cores set aside for faster processing and action. Last one is the Deca core processor and this comes as a double core processor, four cores with quad cores and six cores and more. And this Deca core uses 10 independent cores as well, though they are the most expensive and hardest to find options. And these function, uh, these systems function just like the octa core processes do with some uh, cores dedicated to for the ordinary task while others perform the more advanced task. And newer smartphones and tablets are being manufactured 
manufactured with a deca core processes and modern manufacturing has made them lower in cost than other cores so these are about the types of the uh, cpu or types of processor and subscribe to my channel if you feel contented